So guys, for the first step, you're gonna get into this screen. Now to get here, you're gonna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As it's turning on, you're gonna quickly turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You're gonna repeat this three times. So you're gonna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As it's turning on, you're gonna quickly turn it back off again and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times, it will then take you into this screen. It's going to say that your PC did not start correctly, you're going to click on advanced options. And now once you're on this screen, I'm going to be showing you four different methods that should fix your problem. So for the first method, you're going to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then start to repair. If you do not see start to repair, then you're going to click on see more recovery options, then it should appear right here. So you're going to click on start to repair. It's now going to start diagnosing your PC, let's see if this works for you. If that did not work for you, then for the second method, we're going to click on advanced options, troubleshoot, advanced options again, and then system restore. If you have a system restore point that's been enabled, then you're going to click on next and then go back to your restore point. This should then fix your problem. If you do not have a system restore point, that's fine. We're going to click on cancel. And now for the third method, you're going to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then uninstall updates. You can now try any one of these, such as latest quality update or feature update. I'm just going to be doing feature update. Click on uninstall feature update again. See if this works for you. If it did not work for you, then you want to try the other one that you did not select. And now for the fourth method, you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then start up settings. And then click on restart. Wait for this to load. And now once you're on this, we're going to disable driver signature enforcement. So you want to click on either 7 or F7 on your keyboard. So click on 7 or F7. Wait for this to load. That should then take you back into Windows and then the problem should be fixed.